All right, you've been here before. Let's look at some garments. So people in India wore mostly cotton clothing, and that's because India was the first place where people grew cotton. Even as early as 5,000 years before uh, the current era, so during the Stone Age, cotton was being cultivated in India. The importance of cotton in Indian culture dates back to, to its earliest history. Um, cotton is actually written about in the Rig Veda, which is one of the four uh, texts that are um, sacred to Hinduism. And that book was written in about 600 BC. So men wore uh, what is known as a dhoti. You see a picture of it here. Um, it's just a cloth that's wrapped around their waist and knotted and tied in the back. So again, that draped fabric that we've been talking about in the ancient world. And some men either wore uh, turbans or their heads, on their heads, but many wore man buns. So man buns aren't new. Um, and they kept their beards um, short and shaved. So men have been dressing like this for thousands of years. So what did women wear, right? Women wore, in ancient times, they wore short skirts um, that went from, um, went down to their knees. They often wore a cloth head wrap, um, used to keep the sun off of their faces. Uh, and of course, what women in India still wear today, they wore saris. And of course, jewelry, right? Indian culture, even in ancient times, is known for ornate gold jewelry. So they wore necklaces and bracelets on top of bracelets on top of bracelets. <laughs> they were the masters of stacking. Um, but some of them, some of these uh, items weren't just made from gold. They were also made from you know, stone and shell, shell beads. So women in India wore, and still to this day, wear the sari. Again, it's that draped garment that we've been looking at. It traces back to the Indus Valley civilization, which flourished in uh, before the common era in the northwest part of India. And it's, it's still worn today. Unlike the other civilizations that we we discussed, you know, ancient Indians never drifted away from the clothing of their ancestors. And you know, we think of Indians and we think of saris, and uh, more than ever, they become part of contemporary contemporary dressing. India also played a key role uh, in the Silk Road, which we talked about. Um, we, we think of the Silk Road as, you know, uh, originating in China and ending in, in the, the Mediterranean, but it came right through India. And uh, along the way, Indians added <laughs> some items to be traded. So in addition to, you know, uh, products coming from China, India was famous for its spices, right? Uh, its semi-precious stones, dyes, uh, and for its cotton, and eventually its own growing silk production. And since roads go two ways, as goods and, and, and items to trade came out of China going west, there were Indian things that were imported east. Most importantly, Hinduism made its way, Hinduism and Buddhism made its way to China along the Silk Road. 